Hello friend, today we try to learn lines and regions in a plane. There are mainly two types of lines in a plane. The one is concurrent lines, another one is non-concurrent. Check the definitions. Three or more lines in a plane are said to be concurrent if they intersect at a single point. You have image. Three or more lines in a plane are said to be non-concurrent if they intersect at different points. There are mainly two types of lines, concurrent lines and non-concurrent lines. Within non-concurrent line, we have two another types. One is parallel, another one is non-parallel. The aim of this video is to learn maximum number of regions by concurrent lines or non-concurrent lines. First check the maximum number of regions by concurrent lines. There are always two n regions by n concurrent lines and all regions are open. If we have four lines, then we have eight regions just double if the lines are concurrent next one is maximum number of regions by non-concurrent lines if all are parallel there are always n plus one regions created by n parallel lines and all regions are open if we have four parallel lines then we have five regions and all regions are open no one is closed next one maximum number of regions by non-concurrent lines if no two are parallel if we have two lines then we have four regions all are open if we have three lines then the number of regions are seven in which six are open and one is closed the center region is closed so we can generate a formula if n lines then they can divide the plane in maximum sigma n plus one sigma is nothing but n into n plus one by two plus one finally the value is n square plus n plus two by two different parts in which two into n parts are open and rest part are closed. Please remember, open is always double the line. And the most important is maximum number of regions by non-concurrent line in which few lines are parallel. If there are m lines in which n lines are parallel and no other two lines are parallel in a plane, then maximum number of region segments by sigma m minus one. M minus one are the set of non-parallel lines because m lines are total n are the parallels so m minus 1 is the total non parallel lines plus 1 that is nothing but the last example of sigma n plus 1 first we work on the non parallel lines that is sigma m minus n plus 1 then we need to work on n into m minus 1 plus 1 so the most important thing is why m minus n plus 1 into n extra since there are n parallel lines and each parallel lines would create m minus n plus one more lines means this is nothing but the number of old lines plus one each parallel lines would create number of old lines plus one please remember number of old line plus one we have four lines in which two are parallel and other two are not parallel so first we work on the non parallel lines since two lines are not parallel they would create four segments one two three four if we put a parallel line then it would create three more regions the non parallel lines was two so the each times we place a parallel lines it would create three new regions five six seven three new regions if we place another line that is the bottom image that is eight nine ten every time they would create two plus one means three more regions so total regions by the four lines in which two lines are parallel are nothing but ten so this is the main concept now understand the concept with few examples we have our first practice question if there are eight lines in a plane and two lines are parallel eight lines two lines are parallel maximum number of different segments created by these lines are we need to find the numbers maximum number of closed segments created by these lines again we might need to find numbers when the regions are closed so solve the question there are eight lines in a plane two lines are parallel and we need to find a different number of segments so first of all work in a non parallel lines here there are six non parallel lines because two are the parallel now find the number of segments by six non parallel lines which is nothing but sigma n plus 1 for the six it is 6 into 7 by 2 plus 1 is 22 first work on a non parallel line segment set that is 22 now work on a set of parallel lines there are six non parallel lines and now we place a parallel line then each parallel lines would create seven new segments just like the previous example six non parallel lines 
Now we place the parallel line which creates seven new segments and we are going to place two parallel lines. So the total new segments would be 14, two into seven. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubt, please revise the video. Check the concept again. For every time we place a parallel line, it would create one more segment than the number of previous lines. There are six non-parallel lines. So new parallel line would create seven segments. So the total number of region is 22 plus 14. 22 is for six and 14 is for the two parallel lines. So answer is 36. Now next question of the first is maximum number of closed segments. We know total segments are 36. Open segments is always double the number of lines, which is nothing but 16. So number of closed segments are nothing but 36 minus 16 is 20. Question number two. This is same as maximum number of segments by 10 non concurrent lines in a plane. That is nothing but sigma n plus 1. So the total number of segment is 10 into 11 by 2 plus 1 is 56. Caught in a circle is same as lines in a plane. Find the total number of regions by 12 lines in a plane in which 5 are the parallel. Same as the first question. Work on non-parallel lines which are 7 here. Number of different segments by the 7 is sigma n plus 1. That is 7 into 8 by 2 plus 1 is 29. We have 7 lines. So now each parallel lines would create 8 new segments. We are working for the set of parallel lines and we know 5 non-parallel lines. Now each parallel lines would create one more segment that is 8 which is one more than the 7. So the total number of new segments are 5 into 8 is 40 new segments and total regions is 29 by the 7 non-parallel lines and 40 the new segments is 69. First always work on the non-parallel lines then work on the parallel lines. Now we are working on the best conceptual question on this concept. Find the maximum number of regions created by 12 lines. Total lines are 12 in a plane in which there are two set of parallel lines. One set has five lines parallel and the in second set there are four lines are parallel and rest three lines no two lines are parallel and first set are not parallel to the second set. There are three set of lines. One is three non parallel. Second set is five parallel and third set is four parallel. Work on non-parallel lines first, which are only three. So number of different segments created by these three lines is sigma n plus one is three into four by two plus one is nothing but seven. Work on a second set of parallel lines. Take set of five. You can also take set of four. We are working on a parallel lines and the total lines before this step was three. So each parallel lines would create four lines. Before this, there were only three lines in a plane. So four lines. So the no total new segments is 5 into 4, 5 is the total number of parallel lines and 4 is the new segments created by each. So we work on 20 new segments. So we work on a 3 non-parallel lines, then set of 5. Now we need to work on set of 4. For a set of 4, the first two steps, we have 3 non-parallel and 5 are the parallel. So total line segments are 8 in the plane right now. Now these 4 set. Now these parallel lines, which are set of four, would create nine segments always, nine new segments. Eight lines is in a plane and these four parallel lines would create always nine segments. So total new segments created by set of four is nothing but four into nine is 36. First work on three non-parallel lines, seven, then set of five is again 20 new segments, set of four is 36. You can also work on three non-parallel lines, then four parallel lines, then five parallel lines, but always start with non-parallel lines. So total number of regions are nothing but seven plus 20 plus 36, which is nothing but 63. I hope the whole concept is in your mind. Work on non-parallel lines, then set of parallel lines. And formula for non-parallel lines is always sigma n plus one. For the parallel lines, each time they would create one more segment than the lines present in the plane. If you have any doubt, Feel free to ping me either on Facebook or on this YouTube video thread. If you like the concept, please like the video and subscribe the channel and share the video. Thank you and happy learning.